Tens of thousands of school support workers could be poised to walk off the job and strike on Monday if a new, de if a new deal isn't reached between CUPE and the provincial government. And that could have a massive impact on students here at Givenshaw downtown and straight across the province. If there is no fair deal to be reached, make no mistake, CUPE members are ready for full strike action on October 7th. And with that, the bomb was dropped at Queen's Park this morning. Just three days ago, CUPE began a Work to Rule campaign. The union represents more than 55,000 educational assistants, custodial staff, administrative assistants, and other educational support workers straight across Ontario. Today, the union was pressed for why they decided to move so quickly towards strike action. They claimed the provincial government left them with little to no option. Within minutes of Work to Rule beginning on Monday, uh, school boards had already taken the initiatives to have children as young as 10 and 11 doing supervision. Um, they started laying off, cancelling programs. The sticking point revolves around sick days being taken by school support staff and how the numbers are being interpreted by the two sides. We have in this province um, a rather high level uh, of sick days, on average more than 15 per year. When we're expending $35 million a day, on sick leave instead of reinvesting those dollars in our kids in better textbooks. But that's an average of 55,000 people. So that takes into account folks who have cancer diagnoses, who have done surgeries. The one thing both sides agree on is that the strike date set today is a negotiating tactic, though it could blow up in students' faces. On their website, the York Region District School Board says families are strongly encouraged to begin making alternative child care arrangements, going on to say, this strike action may result in school closures. City News spoke with the TDSB today, who told us contingency plans are currently being discussed. We urge parents to check the TDSB website often, as that's where the most current information will be found. Now, there's a chance as well that some teachers may join support workers on the picket line. Each of the teachers' unions that we have been in touch with have expressed their support and solidarity for our members. There's already valid concerns that safety of children may already be compromised. CUPE has advised its members to hand over school security system responsibilities to administrators. The Trillium Lakelands District School Board in Cottage Country sent out a note to parents at one school telling them the locked door system will be disabled during the current CUPE job action as there will not be available administration staff to monitor. If someone wants to walk into a school in our province and harm, injure, or even worse, to students here in this province, who's at fault? Uh, well, my expectation is the safety of every child is not compromised, full but stop. safety is being compromised very clearly here. Front well, doors are not being locked. I appreciate that. And my response to hearing that uh, is that no child in the province should have their safety compromised. There should be protocols in place to ensure every single child is in a safe learning environment in the province of Ontario. We did speak with the Toronto District School Board today. They tell us that all doors will be locked at their schools in the city, though they're telling parents and students there could be a delay having the doors opened. Now, both CUPE and the provincial government say they're eager to get back to the bargaining table, potentially as early as tonight. Only time will tell. Now, obviously, this is a big concern for parents. They're wondering what Monday could potentially bring. We'll speak with some parents ahead on City News at 6. As we told you earlier on City News, 55,000 school support workers could walk off the job across the province on Monday. And that means that the province and the CUPE, their union, better get a deal hammered out soon. That's what parents here at Given Shaw and across the city are saying tonight. Now we know that the Waterloo District Catholic School Board, they've already informed parents that if there is a strike, they will be closing their schools. They're citing student safety. We caught up with some parents here outside of Given Shaw near Trinity Bell Woods tonight, and they're concerned about what the days ahead could bring. Well, the teachers are going to pick up on the slack, otherwise we're all going to see how much work they have to do and how much we need them. I remember in the past it was kind of like all the kids had to bring home their garbage, like when my child was small, um, back in the day. 
So I'm not sure what parents are going to do. I think the CUPE union is doing what they can, and the kids are being cared for as best they can. Um, the principal is taking the, the brunt of the load. The, the, the educational assistants are doing what they can. And classes like kindergarten, uh, they have a large class numbers because the education of the ECE workers are also part of CUPE. So you can't keep a kindergarten classroom going, in my opinion, with only one worker. It's designed for two teachers, and one of those teachers are going to be on strike. Well, tonight, the York Region District School Board is urging parents to find a contingency plan saying that schools could be closed if there is a strike on Monday. Well, meanwhile, the TDSB says they're still looking at all options and are urging families to go on their website for the latest.